Hi, my name is Crystal Nelson. I'm an ergonomist at Alter Ergo, and today I'm going to be talking about how our keyboard and mouse should be positioned as it relates to our workspace, especially for office workers. The reason why I wanna talk about this today is because this is the number one topic that I talk about throughout my week because most people need some help with how to position their keyboard and mice. So this height highly correlates to our own height where a shorter person needs a different height for their keyboard and mouse than a taller person would. So let's go to the anatomy of our wrist and just the overall anatomy of our body and what's most comfortable. So our wrist can be in three primary positions. The first one is neutral. So this is like holding a cup of water. If you rotate your hand downward, this is pronation. And if you rotate your hand upward, this is supination. So ideally, we want to keep our hand close to us in neutral a majority of the time. And then with our arms, if we reach them outward, if we extend them, that puts more strain in our upper back and our neck. So we wanna keep that close to us in what is called your power zone, your comfort zone. And this distance is usually 12 inches from our body. The one thing to consider with your keyboard and mouse is how to get these placed so your hand is in neutral and you're not extending your reach, keeping your arms close to your body. So for me, ideally, I'm five foot two, by the way, if I lowered my chair so my feet were flat on the floor, my knees and my hips were anywhere from 90 to 100 degrees, I would be pretty low to the floor. So kind of like this. And then I'd have to reach up for my keyboard and mouse. That's not ideal. So if this were the chair I was using all day, every day, I'd want to raise it up as high as it could go, get a foot rest underneath, and then I could be typing in a position like this where my elbows are pretty close to 100 degrees and my keyboard and mouse is pretty close to being in front of me as well. My wrist is mostly in neutral. So there's a bone along your hand here and then your ulna, that's the bone right here, these two should be in line with one another. So when I'm typing, these bones should be matching up with my fingers typing in a downward motion. Typing like this helps to reduce additional strain. If you can find a keyboard and a mouse that fits you and your needs, then you can keep your hands in a neutral position by adjusting the angle of your keyboard and your mouse. If this were a setup where I couldn't raise my chair up to the height that it's positioned at now, because some chairs don't go this high, then I could also add a pull-out keyboard tray. So if I pulled out the keyboard tray and brought my keyboard down, brought my mouse down, and brought my chair down to the height where it is a bit more comfortable for me, this would be the optimal solution. So least costly solution would be to raise your chair up and get a foot rest with your keyboard and mouse up here. But the best solution, which may be a bit more costly because a height adjustable pull-out keyboard tray um, is a bit more of a costly item, uh, is better because you can get your keyboard and mouse right in front of you with your feet flat on the floor. Now that we have your keyboard and mouse at the right height, we also want to consider where these items are in front of you. So let's go back up here just for demonstration purposes, even though I do like trays. So let's say that I am typing a majority of my workday. This is the most popular position that people have their computer set up. So their keyboard is right in front of them, they're typing a lot, and then their mouse is on the right hand side of their workstation. So the keyboard is centered in front of people, but then they have to reach out to the right to get to your mouse, which is fine if you're keen a great portion of your day. But if you are mousing for more of your workday, then you want to imagine that your keyboard and your mouse are one whole unit. So we center the two of those in front of us. So that means the keyboard is slightly to the left. This is for right hand mouse users. And then I can bring my mouse in a little bit. So now I'm typing, which is a little over to the left, which is fine because the other 50% of my workday is mousing. So together, my 
keyboard over to the left and my mouse over to the right is keeping me in an overall neutral position. So this would be a good position to be in if you're mousing slightly more than 50% as well. There's track pads that you can use that can be right in front of you too. So maybe you have your keyboard in front of you and a track pad here where everything is in that neutral position. So having the right equipment to use is perfect, but also adjusting your desk so your equipment is at the right height is just as important as using equipment that you enjoy in your workday. I'm really glad you joined me today. Feel free to give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, especially if you're interested in more ergonomic tips and tricks. Thank you.